Hi to all my YouTuber friends out there. Um, my name is Shamika, and I'm the owner of KNS Exotic Fragrances. And I'm I will be bringing you um, this wonderful video. But before I get started today, I would like um, for you guys to subscribe to my channel. Uh, we're gonna be talking about an interesting um, topic um, today, and um, it's gonna be very very um, educational. And I would lo love for you guys to jump on board. Uh, for those who um, small business entrepreneurs upcoming um, just now getting your feet wet this is something that you want to listen to or uh, what have you so don't forget to hit our subscribe um, uh, button um, subscribe to our channel it also help us thrive and strive um, and to grow and to get the information that you guys are looking for out there okay so again my name is Shamika and I'm the owner of KNS Azada Fragrances LLC and um, it has been a minute since I've been on my YouTube or, or even doing any YouTube video at this point um, but today is um, I will um, be talking about um, if you are having trouble um, selling your products and services and um, and what should you do um, to promote or to sell your products um, and services? All right. So, um, <clears throat> well, what you like to do um, is to find your target uh, targeted audience. Okay. Um, I have a lot of um, uh, friends that have their own small business. And they always say to me, um, Shamika, um I don't, you know, I don't know what's going on. I can't sell my products and services. Uh, I'm sitting on a lot of inventory. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Well, of course, you guys, you know, by us being small business ourselves, marketing cost. Okay. Uh, that's one of the things that small business uh, nowadays are struggling with is working capital and marketing. Uh, and such as myself, I'm not going to even lie. Marketing is expensive. Uh, but the thing that you will have to do and realize is to find your targeted audience. Okay. Find your targeted audience. Now, in my case, uh, because I sell perfume designer, different types of perfumes and cologne for men and women, as well as other products that we just added to the brand. Um, I would have to find those um, who wear a lot of perfumes or colognes, such as that sort. I love perfumes and colognes. Don't get me wrong. Um, I have been doing this type of business since the 90s. And um, I know what goes into um, educate, ed educating people uh, how to even uh, to apply um, the colognes and perfume perfumes properly okay all right so yeah that's all it is you just have to find your target audience you know um and two i just made a facebook um video um today but i'm gonna leave some information down below um to show you how to get over um to the facebook you know, page or my Facebook business page. And so that way you can watch that video as well. But, you know, I have to touch on this topic. I have to touch on this topic. This is something that's well overdue. Uh, I have, have been silencing myself for a very long time. And now it is time for Shamika to come out and to help those ones who are struggling, trying to get their products and services out there and how to find your target audience um, as well. But I have to say this. I have to say this. I have to say this. For all the small business out there, uh, black own small business um, out there. Uh, and, you know, black people in general, we have to do better. We have to do better. We have to start supporting one another and um, start actually networking with one another. Okay? Uh, this is ridiculous. You know, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This doesn't make any sense at all. I hear it on different um, social networks um, about how our own 
um, is not giving us the support that we all um, need. And so we need to get um, better at that, you know. And in the first place, to be honest with you, we don't even have um, any structure uh, in the first place. And what I mean by structure is like a lot of people want to say, Oh, you know, the community, community, we're going to support the community. You got the black people got to get a foundation first. We don't even have a foundation to be able to call, uh, to be able to say community. When we build that foundation, okay, when we build that foundation, that's when it becomes a community. They're just like going to get a house built, ground up, right? And you just got a complete naked slab right there. But if you don't, put anything on a slab to build it up, you know, then you don't have anything, you know. And I think a lot of people get community uh, misconstrued uh, when they say community. No, black people, we have to um, uh, build a community. They, when, they, when you say community, it's not where you stay. It's supporting one another, supporting black-owned small business. That's what I mean by building a foundation, having a structure on top of the foundation and building each other up to break it down in layman terms. So that way, you know, some people would get it. Cause I think some people are confused when it comes to community, you know? So it was just a conversation that I want to have today that is well overdue that need to be talked about and also need to be addressed. Okay. All right. So Again, I'm the owner of KNS Exotic Fragrances LLC. You can look me up on Google or uh, what have you, and you can see the wonderful reviews of what others has been saying about KNS Exotic Fragrances. Like I say, we sell everything from men's perfume um, and women's cologne, uh, women's cologne. No, no, women perfume and men's cologne, my bad. Women perfume, men's cologne, essential oil, oil warmers, um, a little bit of everything, okay? And I'm going to leave that information down below in the description. So that way, y'all can be able to find all the information that you um, need there. All right, so getting back on this subject about us supporting one another, we got to do better. We got to do better. I'm going to tell you something. On my Facebook uh, page for the business, I had to do some seriously downsizing. And what I mean by downsizing, you know, I had this notion in my mind to think the more friends, or no, the more people I bring on my page, it would also help me to, um, you know, help me to thrive and strive or, you know, help myself. That is absolutely untrue absolutely untrue so i have been on pages that have fewer and mind you now i had five thousand at the time and i had to take it all the way down i had I me mean, take it all the way down to 300 because you can have that many people on your page doesn't mean you know that they go get do any shopping with you i know i have experience i had them been through it i know you know, so that is not always the case. It's all about finding the right targeted audience audience that is looking for your products and services and and pretty much downsizing and getting rid of those who are not looking for your products and services and moving on to the next, you know, to the next um, you know, thing. So I mean, I, I have to, I have to, you know, I had to learn. I had to learn. I had to learn. Oh, you know, the the most, the most, uh, the people I got on my page or what have you. Oh, they go do some shopping. No, that ain't true. That ain't true. I have seen, been on some page, like I said, with less followers, with less people on their page now and doing very good. I would go even so uh, much to say a uh, hundred people on their page and they pulling in sales. Good. Now, <laughs> It, it, you know, we got to do better. We got to do better. Right now, we're in a pandemic. And for those um, 
upcoming entrepreneurs um, that are thinking about getting a brick and molded store, let me tell you something. A brick and mortar store do not define a person's character or, or, or define uh, how you as a business owner, um, I, I, you know, how you operate your business. It doesn't, you don't have to go out there and jump in a, a, a whole lot of overhead and a whole lot of debt to get people to shop with you. Absolutely not. You, you don't have to do that because that was my whole mind frame at first. Of course, we have an e-commerce online store, which is working better for us. And that's, you know, that's what's um going on right now. The e-commerce, the e-commerce period is making a up, a, a uptrend, you know, base, uh, versus someone actually driving to a brick and mortar store and like that. Because the brick and mortar store is now starting to become obsolete y'all and i say that to say that we had so many small business that had to shut their doors restaurants retail store i'm talking about all the way across the board due to this horrific uh pandemic that we are all experienced uh and i have been following the news oh my god i have been following the news about this whole masking but that's a, a different uh, uh video but today i'm talking about how you know, black business and how black people I need to start supporting uh black owned business. Okay. You know, but you know, we got to get better at what we do and, 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 and what we do. We just got to get better. We got to get better. We have to get better. We have to get better. It doesn't make any sense. I got a lot of friends that I know that have businesses and stuff like that. Even, I have friends that have a brick and mortar store, but still struggling uh, to get people to come into those brick and mortar stores. So that just goes to tell you right there that if you are an upcoming entrepreneur and you trying to, you know, get your brand name out there and you trying to, the best way to go is to have your e-commerce um online store and start from there don't go jump out there in that debt like that and find yourself you know uh you had to close down your being and you had to do that and don't 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 go that route i'm advising no one to go that route who, who just now started out do not jump in a brick and mortar store right now don't do that don't do that don't do that don't do that do not do that right now you know start out small you know, start out with a nice little basic website, put your products and services on now, what you do, what you specialize in, and then just build from there, you know, and just build from there. But I tell you something that we, we as a uh, nation uh, have came a long way. When I say came, come a long way, I'm talking about technology. I remember back in the days, back in the, the early or the late 80s, early 90s, you know, it was word of mouth. And that's what we stood on. That's what we had back then so far as advertising is word of mouth. You know, word of mouth. And uh, if this friend tell this friend that you're a good being in 9 out of 10, that friend is going to shop with you, go do bidding with you. But it's a catch with that. And I think a lot of retail stores um, gets it wrong every time. Um, and when I say gets it wrong every time, meaning you got to provide a good customer service at the end of the day. Because if your customer service is not hitting on anything, it's not hitting on anything, nine out of ten, your, your, your brand is not going to make it as well as you want it to make it or uh, as you want it to go, you know, it's not going to make it. You got to have good customer service behind your brand. And I'm, uh, you know, I'm a big advocate of that. You know, even with KNS and Sided Fragrances, we provide excellent customer service. We, we, we believe in going above and beyond um, the call of duty when it comes to taking care of our clients and our customers, you know. We do, you know, because we on a whole different level of trying to set the bar uh, for retail um, in general. I have been in stores, and I'm going to tell you, I have been in stores, and when I walk into and walk inside a, in a store, I, when, when I go inside the store, y'all, I don't get greeted. I don't ask 
Um, can I help you with anything? Let me know if you need help finding anything. I don't get none of that treatment. And, and so KNS is out of fragrances and trying to turn that negative around to a positive. And I think over the years, a lot of people that have visit, um, these type of retail stores, um, you know, uh, don't know the difference even when you provide good customer service and you're doing your due diligence of providing good customer service they're not used to that because at the end of the day they weren't used to being greeted in the first place so when you come off to them nice like that you know they looking like oh my god like you know uh Looking at you pretty much like you did something wrong. But no, that's just your policy. That's just the way you treat your customer. You know, and so you got to try to get them in tune uh, because they don't have so many bad experiences along the way when they go to the retail stores and not being greeted. And uh, You know what? It's like this right here. I remember back in the day, you know, when you um, go into a high uh, profile prestige store, you know, a jewelry, jewelry store, uh, uh, upscale handbag store, or uh, whatever. I'm telling you something. Looks can be deceiving. Cause back then they used to go based off how you look when you step into one of those type of high brand uh, retail store. In other words, what I'm trying to say, looking at you like you don't have no money. But at the end of the day now, the one that looked like they got money is the one that 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 that's struggling. And the one that looked like they don't have money is the one that shot with you, pull out a band out of this world, out they probably just, just whip it out. But because they didn't get the, the because they didn't get the service as if the one that looked like had money, they didn't want to do business with them now. Because for one, they didn't get greeted when they came in the store. They didn't, uh, was not asked, ma'am or sir, how can I help you? Or is it anything that you, uh, uh, if, is it anything that you need to find? Let me know. Or, you know, I'm, I'm here for you. None of that. But the one that looked like they had money, those the one that was, so you see how far, so far when I say customer service, how far we came, we came a long way. We came a long way. And so, like I say, that's why KNS is out of fragrances. Half to set the bar for our brand is to keep providing excellent customer service to our customers and our clients. Uh, and so, you know, and uh, KNS is out of fragrances um, is uh, number one top rated. Uh, accredited business on the BBB, meaning the Better Business Bureau. So if anybody would like to go to our Better Business Bureau profile and check out KNS, as out of frame, please do so. Please do so. Please do so. We want you to go on that side um, to check us out to see how long we've been in business, this and that and the other. You know, we don't have a problem with that. But then we also now want you to... Uh, uh, go on Google and check out our reviews to see what others has been saying about KNS as out of fragrances. Okay. All right. So yeah, I had to make this video because black people, we just need to get it together. This is, this has been going on, um, for decades for a long time, um, of us not supporting one another. And I'm saying that to say because I had, a, like I said, I had a lot of friends on my on my page, on my business page, and that we had to really do some revamping because we finding that people are coming on our page and supporting uh, their brand, and we are not working together as a team, um, so so to speak, and um, and they're not sharing my information, but I'm sharing their information and so you know we just had to do a lot of revamp of course I you know companies had to revamp and had to go back to the drawing board to make it a little bit more better than what it was and, and stuff like that and so we had to do a lot of restructuring uh per se and so I say that to say that um yeah KNS as out of fragrances is looking for the right Targeted, targeted audience and not someone that would just be on there, um, uh, 
pushing off their brand and not supporting our brand along with it. If we do something and we support, we see your brand, we're going to support your brand and we hope that you do the same for us and support our brand, you know. But we got to come together, black people, and, 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 and support one another because this is ridiculous. I mean, straight up ridiculous now we just get into the habit of um starting to upload uh photos of our products on youtube to hope to attract the right target audience who love to wear colognes and perfumes who love uh to wear handbags and purses you know like you know, totes and purses, um, who love our essential oils, who love essential oils, who love fragrance, oil lamps, all of that good stuff. And so now we're starting to get into the habit of starting to post our products um, and services now on YouTube. Like I say, the marketing is expensive, but it ain't what you know is uh, who you know, you know, and so we hoping, like I said, to attract the right target audience um, to KNS is out of fragrances. And so that way they can feel comfortably um, coming to us and to do their shopping uh, with us as well. Okay. All right. But we got to do a whole lot better, a whole lot better um, so far as doing business with one another black people we have to do a whole lot better okay and like i said for those who are just um coming up um like your young entrepreneurs and stuff like that just getting their feet wet just starting their business off or whatever like that sometimes it gonna get frustrating i'm gonna tell you this now because i've been in the game for a long time i've been in the game for a long time it's gonna get frustrating sometimes you'll feel like you want to throw in the towel and you're gonna feel like oh there ain't nobody buying nothing from me and then the first thing you need to do when i say go back to the basics i'm gonna tell you what if you're around someone that always speaking negative, negative, you need to uh, distance yourself uh, from people like that. The reason why I say that because you don't want that negative energy dampened onto your spirit, right, and making you feel down. You are already frustrated. You are already feeling feeling unmotivated. No, you need to surround yourself around somebody who always. Uh, talking positive, who who wants to motivate you and who want to make sure that you thrive and strive. Those are the people that you want to be around. Like that, like I always learned along the way, you don't take advice from somebody who's not doing better than you, but yet take advice from somebody who is doing better than you. Because nine out of ten taking advice for someone who's doing better than you already done been through the ups and downs, the loops and up and all this and everything. They done been there and done that. So now they can show you, you know, what the process and how to deal with situation if you feeling a certain type of way, you know, trying to push your brand out. You already know what to do. You know, so that just go back to say that, you know, you want to surround yourself around someone who's doing better than you and also making them your mentor. You know, it might be something that on your side of the building that you might need a little touch up in, a little touch up here, a little touch up there. So far as revamping and getting it right, you know, but you most definitely don't want to take advice from somebody who don't have a business and trying to tell you how to structure your business. No, that it, it, it doesn't work. Like it, it, It's no balance. It doesn't balance out. OK, so you want to surround your, yourself around people like that. You want to surround yourself around people like that. OK, but again. You know, we, we got to do better. You know, I, I go, I, sometimes I had to step outside the box. Y'all, I'm not going to even lie. I had to step outside the box, step outside the box. Me, as a business owner, I still had to go out in the field to introduce my products and services. You know, now, to be honest with you, I'm kind of frugal. I say that it's good, though. A good frugal. I'm kind of frugal because I believe in if I'm going to invest my money I want my money to pay. I want whatever I'm, I'm, I'm investing in. I want it to bring me back. 
you know, revenue, the type of revenue that I'm investing in. I'm not going to take, and I advise you not just take your money and just throw it into a company that it promises you that, oh, we're going to bring you uh, these many people or we're going to get you uh, this many targeted. No, 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 no. Frugal your money. Be frugal with it. And make sure that whatever you investing it into, it don't matter what you do. Uh, you know, if you if you got your own uh brick and mortar store, if you got your own online store and you need the marketing and the go, if you you know, make sure that whatever you investing into is gonna bring you back profit. At the end of the day, it's gonna bring you back profit. Don't go just go out there because I'm telling you, if people out there they can run a good game, I need to see some results. I need to see on paper what come other company you have helped to bring in to bring them in six figures. That's the type of and you know I I, I just need to see I, I need to see that at the end of the day before I just hand you over five thousand dollars. I need to see you know, and so I say that say be frugal with your money, you know, be frugal with your money. Make sure that you're putting it in good you know investments. Or whatever, like I said, it don't matter if you're doing real estate. It don't matter if you're doing online, retail, e-commerce. It don't matter, you know, what type of being you have. Make sure you're frugal with your money. But make sure that your money go pay uh, go pay for itself. Like, it go bring you back the revenues and the profits that you are looking for. Okay? You know, so I threw a bone out there to you. Or whatever. And surround yourself around motivated people at the end of the day. Surround yourself around motivated people at the end of the day. Y'all, I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to have to say, I've been silencing myself for a long time. A long time. And I had to say this right here. I had reached out um, to a couple of um, business owners that I know. Or uh, what have you. Reached out to a couple of business, uh, business owners that I know. And I asked them, you know, I always ask them, how business going for you? Well, you know, it's up and down and, you know, this, that, whatever. And the, uh, the reason why I asked the old question, but because by me being an online retailer, you know, and if one day I decide, you know, to get a brick and mortar, that pretty much just let me know right there. Well, do I need it? Always, it's always good, though, to survey Another um a, a, another business though too because they pretty much gonna tell you what it is if they struggling in a brick and mortar store and you got an online store then they're telling you right there what decision you need to you know what decision you need to make or how you need to how you need to move and shape it will tell you right there all you got to do is just talk to them and just ask them how their experience you know with their brick and mortar store or what they they been and going how how is it going. You know, you ask them that. I always do that, though. I'm like, how your business going? Oh, well, you know, it's going all right. And, and then, you know, is business that had business been good? But, well, you know, yeah and no. And so I'm putting in my mind already, well, do I want to get a brick and mortar? Do I really want this brick and mortar store? Do I really want to get a brick and mortar store? Really? And I ain't knocking nobody who do have a brick and mortar store. But I'm just saying, be prepared. If you're trying to get one, be prepared for the consequences to go come along with it. That's why I said frugal your money. Be frugal with your money. And make sure that whatever you investing into, I don't care if you leasing a brick and mortar store, that that particular and demographic, let me tell you something about demographic and location. It means everything. It does mean everything. Everything, and when I say it means everything, is okay. If you a high end type of retailer and you sell high end stuff, you need to surround yourself based off the income bracket and your demographic, uh, and trying to find your target audience there. That's just like if I'm selling high end uh, perfumes and cologne, but yet I'm going in a low income area. That is, you know, below poverty. My business is not go make it because people can't afford to go in and spend the type of money for my type of. You see what I'm saying? I mean, do you actually see what I'm saying? So it all goes and boils down to your demographic and your location and your target audience. What type of audience are you looking for at the end of the day?
Okay? What type of audience are you looking for? You know, so... And, you know, and then, like I say, you know, I get a lot, well, Shamika, you know, I'm having a hard time selling, you know, my product. Why? You know, I had to find myself going down on my prices. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Well, the only way I'm going to sell my product, I'm going to have to go down on my price. No, you stand firm. You stand firm. Firm on your product. If you don't believe in nothing else, or you you know you don't stand for nothing, else, at least believe in what you stand. Believe in your brand. At the end of the day, believe in your brand, and that goes back taking it, taking it back to how you know. I ain't gonna say all black people. I ain't gonna say all black people because you got. Some black civilized people that support small black business and will shop with you. But like I say now, customer service and other things go along with that. They keep your customers coming back. You see what I'm saying? A lot go along with that. They keep your customer coming back. But, you know, as black people, we don't need to try to talk any other black people down on their prices. And black business don't give in because it's not fair to us. You know, it's not, you know, they can, you know, you got black people, some black people. I'm not going to put all black people now in the boat, but you got black people will go. Some black people will go in some of the, you know, uh, stores. And do you hear them talking down Dollar Tree prices, family dollar prices, uh, any other body prices? Walmart prices? Absolutely not. No, 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 you don't. But black people don't do small business like that. You know, it's already hard enough for them to thrive and strive. You know, don't don't go down there. Can I get the hookup? Can I get a discount? Can I? No. Black owned small business stand firm. Stand firm. And another thing too, don't look desperate. Like you got to... Uh, go down on your prices to make a sale. Don't do that. Don't look desperate. Because when people see you look, that I can even feel the energy uh, from a person that look desperate or whatever like that and, 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 and trying to hope to get a sale or hope somebody shop with them at the end of the day, the customer can feel that. You know, that's why they come at people. That's why they come at some of y'all business like that. Because they feel that you are already looking desperate. You look desperate. Stand firm on your price. And when you are ready to discount your items and you feel like you've been sitting on that particular product for a minute, then that's when you do it. But you don't do it because they want you to do it. You do it because it's time to do it. In other words, you know, I know that video done went long overdue, but I just got a lot to say right now. A lot. To say right now, for those who who are looking uh or, or, or looking for my advice, okay, I can't speak for everybody, but for those who out there are looking for my advice, okay, my advice at the end of the day, you know, so yeah, but we do um um we do um hope that you visit KNS Azada Fragrances 